this week is the start of our month-long prayer and fasting. Our theme is based on 2 Chronicles 20 verse 12, expressing our humble dependence on God during this time of crisis. Please join us in echoing Jehoshaphat's prayer to God. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. Let us join our hearts as we pray for Crew Philippines and for Crew Global. Lord, we thank you for each member of our national leadership team led by Effie Fermin and every team leader of the different ministries under Crew Philippines. May each continue to experience deeper walk and greater intimacy with you. May your word dwell richly in their hearts. May they lead with integrity from a blameless heart so that the words of their mouth and the meditations of their heart and actions be fully pleasing before you. May they be servant leaders who willingly shepherd your people under their care, not lording it over them, but being examples to the people you entrusted to them. May you grant them wisdom and understanding. Fill them with the knowledge of your will as they make decisions and address issues and challenges the organization faces, most especially during this time of COVID-19 crisis. Give them eyes of faith, full trust as they lean on you, and not on their own wisdom and understanding. Strengthen them with your power through your spirit in the inner man so that they may be able to bear the weight of the responsibility of leading and the many burdens the organization carry at this time. Protect each of them, their family, their marriages, their children of the arrows of the enemy. Be their shield, shelter, refuge, and fortress from any harm and calamity. Grant our national leadership team oneness of heart, mind, and spirit as a team. The humility to submit to one another, love and forgiveness for each other, and a gracious and generous heart to edify and encourage one another. Lord, we also lift up to you every missionary of Crew Philippines, full-time staff, associate staff, all the employees, interns, and affiliate staff. May each walk in a manner worthy of the calling they have received from you, and live a life worthy of the Lord and please Him in every way. May they grow more deeply in their devotion, love, and commitment to you. May they be strengthened with all power according to your glorious mind, so that they may have great endurance, patience, and joy, and gratefulness as they serve. May they draw their life, satisfaction, and significance from you, and their relationship with you as their father, and not from their ministry or the things they do or accomplishments in helping fulfill the Great Commission. Grant each of them wisdom and understanding and experience greater fruitfulness as they navigate the new normal of doing ministry. To be able to make the most of every opportunity and conduct their ministry with full understanding of what the will of the Lord is. Grant protection and good health to all as they continue to do the ministry in these trying times. Protect each of them and their families and loved ones. Heal those who have health challenges along with their loved ones, especially aging parents. Provide abundantly every need they have, especially during this time as they raise their support needs for this ministry year, knowing that you are our Jehovah Jireh, our provider, and as you promise in your word to supply our needs according to your riches in glory in Christ Jesus, and that you did not spare your own son, but gave him up for us all, you will also graciously grant all things. And knowing also that you are able to do 
immeasurably more than we can ever ask or imagine. We praise you for the incoming missionaries who will undergo training this year. Bless each of them for saying yes to your call. Provide all their support needs before the end of July. Prepare their hearts, their minds, and bodies for the year-long training ahead of them. May they grow deeply and know you more as they get equipped for the ministry you have called them to. Lord, we commit to you also all the ministries under Crew Philippines, the campus ministries, the ministries directed towards the different mountains of influence, business, government, education, families, media, and entertainment, and those ministries who partner with and resource churches, and those ministries that use digital platforms. Lord, bless, multiply, and empower each as they seek to build movements in the different areas of our society under this new normal. Bless the work of their hands, especially as they partner with the body of Christ, in reaching and impacting our country for Christ. Lord, may you also continue to bless, provide, protect, and use mightily the disciples involved in the different ministries, wherever you have planted them. Our ministry partners, alumni, uh, volunteers, church partners, and other groups and individuals we partner with. Help them, those who are students, those who are teachers, as they navigate the new normal of education and school this year. Lord, enable the businesses and work of our alumni and ministry partners to be able to sustain their ministries. Lord, may you also continue to bless, provide, protect, and use mightily the disciples involved in the different ministries. Also, our ministry partners, alumni, volunteers, church partners, and other groups and individuals we work with. Help those who are students and teachers as they navigate the new normal of education and school this year. Lord, enable the businesses and work of our alumni and ministry partners to be sustained and thrive even more despite the realities of our economic crisis put a hedge of protection over their careers and businesses. And those who need work and boost in their business, Lord, miraculously provide whatever they need at this time. We lift to you also, O God, our global ministries. Give wisdom and discernment to the Global Board of Trustees and Selection Committee in choosing the next president who will succeed Steve Douglas. We praise you also that all except four of the 27 U.S. staff members who were reported positive with COVID-19 have already recovered. And pray for peace of mind and heart and a strong body for those who are still recovering and that the infection will not spread anymore. We also praise you for the healing of all except nine of the original 37 staff members from other countries who were infected with COVID-19. We also pray for peace of mind and heart and strong body for those who are still recovering and that the infection will not spread anymore. We also pray for comfort and peace for the family and loved ones of that one staff member who died from COVID-19 infection. We pray for wisdom, discernment for our U.S. crew staff members in terms of their stand and response to the current racial tension in the U.S. Lord, you allowed this thing 
for your greater purpose. And so we commit to you, our staff, our U.S. staff family, as they navigate this racial and cultural issue confronting their country. We also pray for the Jesus Project Office as they hold a summer virtual or digital update on July 17. May you bless this event and enable the Jesus Project Office to bless their partners and kingdom providers. May partnerships be strengthened and all funds needed raised abundantly. Lord, we give you honor and glory for how you will answer all these petitions and the cries of our hearts. Your arm is not too short to save us and help us. We thank you already for the answers to these prayers. Grant us your peace, which surpasses all understanding, as we wait upon you. We join our hearts again in saying, Lord, we do not know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. You are the God who sees, El Roy. You are the God who knows, El Diot, and the God who hears, El Shama. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.